AIDS is still a huge problem in our community and, and across the globe. The purpose of today was to bring people together in a safe environment where we can talk about the issues surrounding this disease. What puts people at risk and what are the ways that we can assist people in um, living healthier, longer lives and even before that of preventing the disease from happening in the first place. I was 21 years old. I was a college student and did not believe that after having two partners that I was a person at risk for HIV. Um, here in the Tulsa area we're still diagnosing uh, upwards of 100 new people each year and that's that's just our area here. That's, that's not all of Oklahoma, just Tulsa. I would say come in early. Let us get you connected with the services that are available. Get into medical care and stay there. Um, we know that the medications work and um, and today it's not a it's not a death sentence. It's still it's still a disease that has no cure. People still die from the disease, but it's not like it was 15, 20 years ago. At 21 years old, I was I was just a kid, and people really took me into their arms and just said, you know, it's going to be okay. One way or another, it's going to be okay. And that's after having been told that I would have two to five years to live, that I had two percent of an immune system, losing my family. Um, losing a lot of friends, realizing who was going to stick by me and who wasn't going to. There are places that you can go for help. And certainly Tulsa Cares is a place that if you have the disease, you can come to and people will, will meet and greet you there and there will be no blame, no shame, or no judgment. There are also places like Hope Testing Clinic um, that, where you can get tested. Um, and everybody needs to know what their status is. I am also married and I've had two children through this disease. So there are even though this is difficult and even though it's still a struggle and even though we see um, new HIV positive all the time being diagnosed here in Tulsa, there's a community that's here with open arms and able to embrace and uplift you.